As much as I hate to say it, we are not done talking about big publishing. They're the ones responsible for getting second graders hooked on popper-fueled bestiality orgies. <laughs> Shame on you, Mr. Popper's Penguins. Now, the Bequistas have aimed their sharpest pencils at one of our great conservative thought warriors, former Breitbart senior editor Milo Yiannopoulos. Now, if you don't know Milo, you clearly haven't been living under the correct rock. <laughs> He's the alt-right's premier agent provocateur who effortlessly triggers liberals with un-PC comments like these. There are just three genders. Um, there's man, <laughs> woman, and retarded. Being Muslim, for instance. Almost as stupid as being fat. Feminism is cancer. Thank you very much. I know what you're thinking. I gotta hear more from that guy. <laughs> And bigwig publisher Simon & Schuster agreed, giving Milo a six-figure book deal shortly after Trump was elected. Now, a few months later, those literary cuck teases killed Milo's book deal. Why? Left-wing media bias. Take a look. If the press gave me the same kind of love, attention, and lavish praise, mm -hmm. which is they give to Lena Dunham and Amy Schumer, completely undeserved on the basis of nothing. These are talentless warthogs. Um, you know, if they gave me that level of gushing attention, because I'm the same, just with different politics, really, um, I wouldn't have sold a couple of hundred thousand books. I'd have sold a million. Yeah, Milo is the same as Amy and Lena. Between the three of them, they have an Emmy, a Golden Globe, and a lifetime Twitter ban for racistly trolling Leslie Jones. <laughs> exactly the same. But Milo will not be silenced. Like the free speech crusader he is, Milo is suing those book-loving bastards for $10 million. But here's what just dropped. Simon & Schuster's public court filings, which include Milo's original manuscript with the editor's notes. Last week, those notes hit the internet, and they are mildly unflattering. <laughs> But now, Snowflakes and SJ Dubs are having a field day on social media, celebrating like Whole Foods is having a clearance sale on matcha tea. <laughs> Here to talk more about Milo's persecution by the left are citizen journalists Josh Sharp and Aaron Jackson. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Jordan. The libs are soaking their panties over this editor's shady notes, but the truth is, giving Milo an editor in the first place was fascist. Yeah, he's a free thinker. He shouldn't be bound to totalitarian publishing ideas like common decency or basic book structure. Yeah. Aaron and I have never used an editor. We just quickly write down what we want to say, feed it into the teleprompter, and then say back whatever is ribbon on there. Yeah. <laughs> That's what free speak is all a pouch. <laughs> I put in a green moron, guys. Yeah. And while the soy boys on social media are going gaga with this editor's takedown, the truth is that a lot of these notes are pretty standard in the mainstream publishing industry. So let's go through some of these notes Milo got from his editor. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, here's the first one. Delete irrelevant and superfluous ethnic joke. <laughs> That's a totally standard note. The editor on Little Women said the same thing. The character of Beth was originally in blackface for the whole book. Yeah. Or how about uh, this note? I don't like using Nazi analogies ever. Okay, everybody gets this one. It was one of the early notes on Animal Farm. It's actually why Orwell decided to make them animals. Mm -hmm. The first draft was just about Nazis on a farm and it was called Nazi Farm. Yeah. <laughs> Some more editorial feedback Milo got when he wrote about Pizzagate. This entire paragraph is fake news. There was no blood, no semen, and no Satanism. Delete. <laughs> You know who got this note all the time? Dr. Seuss. <laughs> Here's an early cat in the hat draft. There was blood on the stairs. There was jizz in the bath. Then the cat summoned Satan, who unleashed his wrath. Yeah. I love that. And it's great for kids. Yeah. Okay, now Milo got lots more notes, but again, they're all standard. Yeah. Stuff like dumb joke. Standard note. Delete. Ugh. Standard note. This is a stupid way to end a terrible chapter. A classic. Not the time nor the place for another black dick joke. Hello? That is so standard. I know, I know I ask you guys this all the time, but when is the time and place for a black dick joke? 
Now that the book is canceled, we'll never know. Oh, God. <laughs> Injustice, right? I can't believe they pulled his book just because he made some pithy observations about women, Muslims, trans people, black people, fat people, gay people, people with oh, disabilities. Oh, no, 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 Jordan, no. The book got pulled because Milo made some rather provocative comments about pedophilia. Yeah, all that hate speechy stuff is the reason he got the book deal in the first place. Yeah. So you can cool it with your woke Twitter parades about the Simon & Schuster clapback libs because these notes were not written by some heroic social justice warrior. No. They were written by a professional editor who was part of a team willing to pay Milo gobs of money for his ideas so that Simon & Schuster would make gobs and gobs of money off of Milo's ideas. Gobs and gobs, <laughs> All right, Jordan, we have to go. We're off to read the racy, unedited version of Hop on Pop to some kids. Yeah. And yes, Jordan, it's about exactly what you think it is. Uh -huh.